Can I chop off the front of my head again? Oh, guys, she'll get it one day. Hello. I guess I should start with, oh boy. Because it is an oh boy day, but not a, oh. I was gonna say not a bad oh boy day, just an oh boy day. Is my head still chopped off? You guys tell me. Oh no, it's good. Oh, it, it looks so much smaller in the camera than in life. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? All right, hi guys. Oh boy, here we are. Ugh. Oh. So crooked. These fucking bitches trying to front. And by these bitches, I mean my phone. Um, hi friends, happy to have you here. Should I try to fix it one more time? It's gonna piss me off. It's by me that it's lower. It's gotta kill. Okay, so uh oh no, I went the wrong way on that. Ah mm. it's still fucking crooked. All right, it's just gonna be what it is for this. Hopefully you guys are fine. Okay, bizarro show for you guys today because I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about. And there is some stuff going on in the news. So I wanna talk about that also. I wanna recap the conversation with Darina yesterday and answer any, answer any of your follow-up questions about that. Um, also, I wanna talk about Mulan getting the PG-13 rating because I think that's really interesting. Also, there was, there's so much shit going on in The Bachelor I'm like blown away by that I need to get your thoughts on. And DC had a TV show, Legend of Tomorrow, that did an entire episode on magical perfume. So it's like, what the flying fuck is that about? Uh, but before we get into any of that, don't forget, guys, to thumbs up this video. I currently have 70 people watching live right now and 18 thumbs up. So everybody get those songs going. You guys are talking about the crooked painting. It is fucking crooked. It is annoying. Um, how do I fix it? How do I fix it? I think I can do it. One more shot. One more shot, y'all. Is that it? Did she get it? Did she go too far? Did I make it more? Yeah, it's better. Better not bitter. That's what's tattooed on my shoulder. Um, okay, so yeah, thumbs up. Also, shout out to the people who have subscribed. Still trying to get to 20,000 subscribers by March 1st. If I do that, I will do a live watch along of The Matrix, a movie I have not seen yet, that I know you guys want me to see, so make sure you subscribe. We're at 19.6, which means we are moving closer. We're moving on up to the east side. East side of LA, it's not a better side to be on. Um, yeah, what is with your purse? We're gonna talk about it. What the fuck is in my purse? What the fuck is in my purse? So we will go over all of that. Also, don't forget streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer. That is the best way to financially support me. Don't worry. All of the money that you guys sent yesterday that was specified for Darina was given to Darina. So although yesterday was a good stream, I did give most of it to her. I was grateful that she came on and I love Darina. And the thing that we were doing for our project yesterday after we left here went really well. So we're still in movement. Um, and I even have a, um, I have a sneak peek that I could show you guys of something we're doing at the end of the stream, but I don't know if I will, but I'll only do it if, uh, I have to think about it. What should I do? What should the bet be for the sneak peek of what we're doing? It either has to be a thumbs up thing, a subscribers thing, a financial thing. You guys let me know what should be the, what should be the bet. Um, I'm so bad at this stuff. I'm so bad at this kind of stuff. Uh, super chat in here also. And like I said, streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer. Um, Matthew says 200 thumbs up. But what if 200 people don't end up watching? Then I don't know. Then we do not know. So maybe 150 thumbs up. If we get to 150 thumbs up. If we get to 150 thumbs up and over $150, then we will do it. Yeah, 150 on both. So we have to do both and then I'll give you guys a sneak peek. I have a cool idea of what to show you. Come on, people do it, says Matt Link. 
150 in the super chat or the stream lab, streamlabs.com slash and 150 in the thumbs up department. Already 50 thumbs up right now. 91 people watching currently. We're only four minutes in, so hopefully people will come, people will go, people will hide, people will low. What the fuck does that mean? Um, does anybody have any interest in seeing what the fuck is in my purse today? Just curious. Here's why I'm going to show you. We've been doing this show and tell thing, but I feel like the way you really get to know somebody is by seeing what is in their purse. So I will, I will tell you guys this right off the bat, right off the bat, I took out three things from my purse. I don't know what is in here. I have no idea what's in my purse, but I do know I took three things out. Number one, a credit card. Number two, my second credit card. And number three, my driver's license. Those are the three things I took out of my purse because I didn't think it was smart to show them on camera. But other than that, I did not take one thing out of here and I live in my purse and I do not know us. I do not know what I keep in here. It's like a ton, a ton of shit. Uh, J Dog says three things I don't have. Yes, you do. You don't have a, you don't have a credit card or a license? Anything? No? All right, how do you pay for things? How do you drive? Do you not? A credit card, so scandalous, LOL, says Matthew Gold, our amazing moderator. Speaking of moderators, Jake Yacovetta, Matthew Gold, uh, Paul Denuzio, in the his house. Thank you, moderators, for holding it down right now. Uh, I appreciate you guys greatly. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do, even though it's a glass table and I hope I don't fuck things up, is I'm going to dump the entire contents of my purse on this table and we shall just kind of merrily we roll along stroll on through so just for a little bit about the purse this i have a few different purses that i that i change out sometimes but this is my everyday purse and it was given to me by two of my best friends uh lindsay and anna they gave it to me for my birthday this past year and i love it and black and gold is my favorite color combination but there are no pockets in this purse it's just a circle purse so we will be empty, we unzip the purse, and I'm literally going to, oh, I hope it doesn't make too loud of a sound. Oh no, All right, that was an eyeliner that rolled off the table. It was a black eyeliner. Things are rolling. They see me rolling. Did you even think this much stuff could come out of a purse this size? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Happy birthday, Sean, by the way. Sean Quinn, happy birthday. Everybody send bunnies. Is there anything left in this purse? Yep, a couple coins. Okay. Now the purse is empty. Oh, no. What is that? All right. That was in there. Now the purse is empty. Okay? Let's go through and see what the fuck is in Roxy's purse today. Uh, all the people saying happy birthday, Sean, sending bunnies. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. Uh, also, this is so messy and freaking me out. Also, streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer as we get towards the end of the month. I really appreciate it. And uh, like this video, if we get to $150 today and 150 thumbs up, then I will be showing you a sneak preview of what Darina and I have been working on. It's not even a preview, it's just a, it's a, it's a tease. It's a small little hint. It's an item I will go grab to show you guys of what we have been working on. All right. So let's go through it, one, thing by thing. So a lot of these things are similar. So these are all my lip glosses. Let's pull all the lip glosses out. I like to have all different shades in here. Not that I could ever fucking find them in this purse. But let's see. All right, hold on. I think that's, nope. Yeah, that's all of the lip glosses. So we got a, a nude. This is by Pop Sugar. It's going to be my, my, my BFF Ashley Daniels. This is my basic red. It, when it goes on, you go like this and it doesn't come off. It's fucking awesome. For anybody who gives a shit, I think it's Kat Von D. Yeah. So we, we're getting rid of those two. Oh, we'll put them back in the purse after we've reviewed them. Our very first super chat of the day, NFL Caleb 22. Thank you, NFL Caleb 22. Appreciate you. Um, this one is my Sephora one and it makes me look like... I'm stuck in the 90s. I'll show you guys. It's just kind of like a pink. Very glossy. 
situation. Okay. That's going back in the purse. These two were sent to me by Warner Brothers for the Harley Quinn Birds of Prey movie. This one's called Boss. This one's called Stepping Out. Um, so it's a red and like a mauve color. This is my nude that I wear all the time. It's a lipstick. Marc Jacobs makes it. This is also given to me by Ashley Lipland. Also one of those where you go like that and nothing comes out. And this one's Anastasia. You guys are learning so much about what I put on my lips. There's a couple other lip things in here. They're all chapstick kind of things though. I got a, this is kind of like a Blistex. This one comes from Soul House's line, Cow Shed. I'll talk to you guys about Soul House when we get to that, I think. This is a Honey Palm one. So these are all like chapsticky things. This is fucking funny. Okay, so we put those all in the purse. Those are all the things for my lips. What do I see next? All right, I have two different nail polishes in here. I don't think most people carry nail polish in their purse, but I always am fucking with my nails. I never get my nails done. Um, true story, I think it'd be awesome, but like getting your nails done is really expensive and I just don't fucking have the money. Um, and I need your guys' help and support in order to live my dream and pay my rent and work on my projects, not to get my nails done. That would be bitchy. So um, I paint my own fucking nails and I'm always switching it up. So this is like a dark bluey black color and this is gold, which I have on my fingernails now, which is kind of chipping off, but all right, so I put those both in there. Those are going in the bag. Um, what else do we have here? This is $5, and this is $20, and this is $1. My dad always says that I should carry different forms of bills around in case I need to do something, like tip somebody or if I get stranded and deserted. So I usually keep about $25, this is $26 in my purse. High fucking roller, yeah baby. Is that a fake $5? No, it's a real $5, I think. Wouldn't it be weird if I printed money to show you guys fake money? Um, yeah, so I always try to carry a little bit of cash. I never have a lot of cash because who the fuck does, but I try to have a little bit. Um, all right, this is a lighter, little yellow lighter, mini lighter for purposes of lighting things on fire. Um, this is my uh, perfume that I always have with me. The It's called Kai. Um, it's like a Hawaiian oil. So it's like a all natural roll on thing. Uh, you can only get it at a very few amount of stores. So, but actually I think they started selling it, they started this year maybe in Nordstrom's. So there's that. Uh, all right, so that's going back in here. Let's see, this is a pen for when I have bright ideas. Who even knows if it fucking works anymore? Yeah, it does. Um, good to keep a pen with you, I guess. Uh, what are you guys talking about in, in here right now? You wearing the gold just for me? Yeah, Matthew Gold, hell yeah. Um, this is a daily moisturizer. I have to admit I don't moisturize my hands often enough, but uh, it's nice too. Feels very good. I like, I like a good moisturizer. I have the like ashiest, roughest elbows ever, so I try to do that. Um, okay, what else? So th I have a few of these little things. This is super stick. So this is boob tape. Does anybody know what boob tape is? Um, and it's not boob tape where I'm actually, so there's a couple different kinds of boob tape. Some of it, some boob tape, like people use to make your boobs look perkier in a dress that you can't wear a bra and you're like, tape this one this way and this one this way and whatever. That's not what this kind of boob tape is. This kind of boob tape is so that if I'm wearing something low cut, I tape the actual outfit to my boob so that my boob doesn't pop out of the outfit. Uh, Jenny Lawson's like, yes, Jenny, you feel me, girl. So Matt Link, what? Uh, so I've got a bunch of different super sticks in here. Again, boob tape. You never know when you're gonna need an outfit thing where your tip might just pop out, so. Uh, or a Castillo, so that's what boob tape looks like, yeah. So I'll, I'll waste one on you guys. I'll show you how you do it. Um, here's another one. Okay, so I'm putting a lot of these back in the thing. Here's how it works. So it's double-sided stick tape, essentially. So on this one side, there's like two things that you take off. So one, and then two, and then I would stick it to myself, right? So I put it down on my, this is, would be my tit. And then 
which I'm not gonna do on camera, but I will do this part. Then I take this off of it, the top part. So now it's like having double-sided stick tape. And then I just put that there. So now you'll see like my sleeve doesn't fall. Does that make sense? So for anybody who ever has to use boob tape, now the tape is stuck to my sweater. All right, we pulled it off. Now it's trash, so that won't go back in my purse. Although apparently some trash does go in my purse. So that goes over there. Let's check in with people. How are we doing over here? Going over to Streamlabs, streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer. Uh, Glenn Caesar in the Streamlabs. Hey Roxy, happy Wednesday. Yeah, yesterday's stream with Dorina was great. Curious about what's in your purse. Uh, you said that today's gonna get weird, so bring on the weirdness. Love you, Roxy. Here's towards the $150 during today's stream. Hashtag Rockstars ban. Yeah, don't forget we're trying to get $150 in today's stream and 150 thumbs up. And if we do both those things, I'll give you guys a small little hint uh, by showing you an item that Darina and I are gonna be using in our shoot. Uh, and stuff a bra as well. So that, uh, maybe that will be something you guys are interested in. 92 thumbs up right now, 106 people watching live as you guys are all figuring out what the fuck is in my purse. So let's keep going. Um, speaking of the trash, gum wrapper, gum wrapper, gum wrapper, uh, gum wrapper, um, candy wrapper, candy wrapper, candy wrapper, gum wrapper. So, uh, I think, um, it's safe to say that I don't need that shit, so that's gonna go in the motherfucking trash pile. Or, uh, oh, piece of plastic going in the trash pile. Um... This says admit one. It's a blue admit one ticket. I'm trying to think of where this came from or why I have it. It's definitely not something I'm keeping on purpose. Just threw it in my purse. Admit one. Oh, I know exactly where this came from. And I lost it and now I've found it. Well, now it's no good to me. My friend, George Kaplan, one of my closest friends, took me to go see Third Eye Blind for a Grammys party. And they gave these to you when you walked in. And if you wanted a shirt, you had to hand this in. But I couldn't find mine. It was buried in my purse. They gave me the shirt anyway. I talked my way into it. But this would have been helpful. So this is also fucking trash. Um, okay. Now, anything else that's going in the purse? Oh, some coins. So this goes back to the money thing. Um, usually in LA, most meters... You can pay with your credit card, but just in case there's still some places, like in back home when I go visit in Newton, um, when I visit my dad and my siblings, the meters you can't pay with. So I always try to keep some quarters. So I've got two, three, four quarters. Uh, this is a nickel. This is a different nickel. This is a dime and that's a penny. The reason I paused on the, this is a nickel is it doesn't really look like a nickel. I don't know what the fuck it is. And it has gum attached to it. But it is. So those are going in the case. Um, this is a band-aid. I usually try to keep one of these in my purse in case I'm wearing high heels and I get a blister and I got to patch that shit up. Ladies and some gents, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's also, they come in handy because... People end up cutting themselves all the time. And I used to walk around with an entire first aid kit, but now I just have one Band-Aid. It's one of the thicker ones. So that is going in my purse. Um, tea bags. This one's obviously got to be trash now because clearly at some point it came out of the wrapper and it's just a loose tea bag. So that's dirty as fucking disgusting. This one is a 7-Eleven Earl Grey tea bag. Um... I don't know why I bought it and didn't use it, but it stays in my bag. I love tea. You guys know that. I drink tea every single stream. Um, I like that I just took a sip of that to like prove to you guys that I fucking drink tea. You guys know I drink tea. So it's always good to have tea in your bag. I always have it in my backpack also, and I love Earl Grey. Love all different kinds of teas, but that will be going back in there. Um, okay, the, this stuff. This is a bunch of coldies. 
Can you guys see this? Coldies. Coldies are something that I swear by. Um, so if you feel like you're starting to get sick, you take a coldies. This is the lemon flavor. This is the cherry flavor. And this is the wild berry flavor. Now this might be placebo, but I, I love the wild berry flavor best, but I feel like the cherry and the lemon ones work better. I don't fucking know why, but that's how I feel. Now it says on the box to take four a day. Um, and, and if you start doing this, when you start feeling like you're getting sick, I swear to fucking God, it takes care of your cold and at least half the time. But here's what I will tell you, and this is not a doctor's advice, who the fuck knows, and do not take my word on this if you, I, I will not be sued for giving this advice. But I, when I feel like I'm getting sick, I have one of these every hour. It's disgusting tasting after a while. Like it gets so, so zinky. You guys know that feel. Bye, Paul Denuzia. Love you. Miss you. Wish you weren't running, but I get why you are. Bye. Um, say bye to our amazing mod. Uh, so I, it, they do, they start to taste bad. And this is disgusting too, but if you have so many of these, I have talked to many of people. It gives you a ton of fucking diarrhea, but you don't get sick. If you have one an hour and you feel like you're, sometimes I feel like I'm getting a cold, I start to take one of these an hour for like 20 hours, I take the whole box, the next day I feel great. But that day you feel like shit. But if you need to prevent yourself from getting a cold, so all of these coldies will go right back into my purse. 120 people watching live right now, 101 thumbs up. Don't forget guys, if we get to 150 thumbs up and $150 in the Streamlabs or the Super Chat, then I will share a small preview of what Darina and I are working on. So far, only NFL Caleb and um, Glenn Caesar have supported me financially today. Maybe the end of the month is tough for everybody, which I totally fucking get. Trust me, the end of the month is always, it's very tight, very fucking tight. Um, but I love you guys regardless. Uh, Nicole Brandstetter, sometimes diarrhea is worth it. That's what I'm saying, homie. That is what I'm saying. Uh, love your outfit. Thanks, Allie. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, all right. Um, other things in here. I, I forgot this one when I was going through the lip stuff. This is a little blue ball, but when I open it, it's got chapstick inside. So you put my finger in and then I rub it on. I got this at some kind of event. They gave it to me, but I actually really like the chapstick, but I'll never be able to find it again. So there is that. There is that. There is that. No diarrhea, I prefer six, says Elliot. Well, to each their own, but sometimes you gotta present yourself from getting sick. Um, here is my uh, health insurance card which I'm freelance, so I pay for. It costs me a fucking arm and a leg, and I barely use it, but at least it does get me my prescriptions for cheaper. Um, I can see a gyno once a year and all that shit, so there is my health insurance card. This is a Sephora gift card. Sephora gift card. I'm obsessed with Sephora. Sephora is where I get all my makeup. I'm a VIB, a very important beauty, and, um, yeah, I get to... I get to expense my makeup because I get it all for on-camera stuff. I don't usually wear any makeup if I'm not on camera. So it's that's nice also. So for any kind of gift people get me, like if there's ever like a, a Yankee swap or any kind of holiday thing, I always, always, always want Sephora gift cards because I love buying me makeup. Um, and this one I think has like $12 left on it. At some point it had 50 but I bought something, so... Yeah, that's my Sephora gift card going back in the purse. Um, let's see, this is these are two hair elastics. Some I usually carry them on my wrist, but sometimes if I'm doing a shoot and it looks ugly, I'll put, throw it in my purse. It's always good to have an extra hair elastic too. If you guys remember that scene in Birds of Prey where one person gives another person a hair elastic. Women supporting women, baby, love that. Uh, 120 people watching live right now, 111 thumbs up. Let's get those thumbs going. Let's get those thumbs going. Sometimes I start to sing weird shit to myself, dude. Um, Streamlabs.com slash Roxy Strayer and Super Chat in here. If you're having a good day, week, month, or even your year, you don't call them scrungies. 
for it, scrunchies, not scrunchies, scrunchies, and only if it's an actual scrunchie, not a hair pretty. This is a hair pretty or hair elastic. Scrunchies got like more fabric to it, usually. Um, okay, these are both under eye concealer. I have really fucking dark circles. This one's Laura Mercier. You can see it's almost done. So what I do is when I'm almost done with my under eye concealer, I make it my purse under eye concealer, not my stay at home under eye concealer. And this one's Boying, which was recommended to me by my friend Jen Sturger. And it's fucking awesome for on camera. Um, and it gets rid of those dark circles. I used to use tattoo cover up, but they got fucking rid of uh, the Kat Von D tattoo concealer that I used under my eyes. So I use a combination of both these things. And uh, yeah, I don't usually bring a lot of makeup in my purse, just lip stuff for my lips and stuff for my under eyes. Cause those are the things like, if I really, I'm in a pinch, those, that's the shit that I need. So those are going in the bag. Let's check in with the Streamlabs, streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer. Uh, coming from Brandy, my girl Brandy, who says, much love to you, girly. Oh, she's, but she did it for $10 or up. So um, much love to you, girly. Hell yeah, Brandy, you fucking rock. Brandy, 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 Brandy. Uh, thank you for the Streamlabs again. Streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer. Don't forget to show support in there. Um, this is a pack of gum. It's almost empty. It's got two pieces left. I like the Orbit Sweet Mint flavor of the Orbit ones. That's my favorite, so I usually have that on me. Uh, this is um, one of my, like, 50 vape pens. I always have a vape pen in my purse. I never go anywhere. Uh, well, I try not to go anywhere without one. A, because, like, it's a great thing to do at the end of the day. B, you guys know I'm a huge cannabis supporter. C, I never like to mooch off of anybody else. I, and I always like to make sure I have safe products, which I vet very carefully. Um, so, yeah, this is a bloom pen. And I usually have a bloom cartridge attached to my bloom pen. Uh, but um, this is not... I'm trying to remember the name of this company that I got it from. This is Active. And it came delivery to me um, from Ease. Uh, what the fuck is the name of it? I, it's honestly, it was, I don't want to, I don't remember it because it's not my favorite. I probably won't be getting it again. It's fine, but active. So it's a sativa. Um, what I prefer is Marley Natural. I love my Na Marley Naturals. Although the Marley Natural on the bloom pen doesn't do as well. With the bloom pen, I can't control the temperature of the bloom pen, so it, uh, it, um, I don't know why it's not burning at the best rate with the Marley. I have a Marley pen that's got the button on it, but I prefer it to not have the button. Anybody who doesn't vape has no fucking idea what I'm talking about, but anybody who does, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. We all have our preferences. I also like this bloom pen because it lights up at the bottom when I'm smoking, so you know that you're doing it right. So if I'm ever smoking out any of my friends and they don't usually vape, that's a good way for them to check in and see that it's working. And yeah, usually these are, um, usually I have like a sativa and a hybrid or a sativa and an indica or whatever. Uh, I gotta up my game though and get back to the store and get some stuff. Bloom is one of my favorites though. They make awesome fucking stuff. So I definitely, definitely highly recommend the Bloom pens and cartridges. Um, for more cannabis recommendations, ask me questions, feel free to ask me anything you guys want. I am a, a huge, huge cannabis supporter. I will talk about it anywhere and any place. And people who say, don't you worry, that won't, will make it so that you don't get jobs. If somebody doesn't want to hire me because I'm a cannabis supporter, then I don't want to fucking work for them anyway. So cannabis all day, every day. That for sure goes back in the purse. Oh, um, this is my, the charger for the bloom pen, just in case I've got to twist this off. Um, it's the USB charger, so then I can twist this uh, right into it, and then I plug this into any kind of like little cube, like what you do for your iPhone, if that makes sense to you guys. Calvin Patel, which pen is that? Again, this is the Bloom pen. Bloom, Bloom, Bloom. I love Bloom. I'm in Bloom. I'm in Bloom. Um, all right, what's left on this table? Two cards. Um, this is my Caruso VIP card, and this is my Soho House card. So what do those things mean? Um, Soho House is the house that I'm a member of here in LA. It is a, uh, a um, creative's house 
I've actually gotten so many, uh, I've made so many connections there. It's like, it's almost like Starbucks coffee house, but with food and for creatives only. So I make a ton of connections there usually, and it's a great place to go and do work and take meetings and all of that stuff. Um, they have them around the world. So like in the, if I'm in New York, it's also a hotel and a gym and all this stuff. Uh, so, so I was just like the fucking best use of my time I'm obsessed with it and it's helped me immensely in my career uh, and the Caruso VIP is something that so House gives you uh, gives a lot of their members so Caruso is a group in LA that they have um, they made the Grove for anybody who's been to LA the Grove is like an outdoor mall and also the Americana and so it gets me free parking there and also 20% off or 10% off a lot of the stores. I have like 15% off at Nike, um, at, at those specific locations um, and things like that. So I love them and it's free valet also, which is fucking dope. Uh, so I'm very grateful for that. Uh, and the last thing in my purse, I guess, is a Tylenol cold and flu severe. So in case something's going on. That is it. Uh, going right into the purse, and now I'm zipping the purse back up. That was what was in Roxy Stryer's purse. Let me know what you guys think. Were you surprised by anything? Was everything pretty normal? Do you keep the same shit in your purse, different shit in your purse? Let me know. Brandy, thank you for reminding people in the chat, in the live chat right now on this Wednesday at 1.35 p.m. Pacific time. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and tell your friends to subscribe. Telling a friend is really cool and important. Getting those streamlabs or super chats to help out our girl. I think I'm your girl. Hashtag rock stars, baby. 120 people watching live right now and 124 thumbs up. Remember, if we get to 150 thumbs up and $150 in the super chat or the streamlabs by the end of the show, then I will show you guys a small little hint, sneak, sneak hint of what I'm working on with Darina Ariano and Steph Sabra. Uh, I haven't even asked them if I could show this to you guys, so hopefully they won't get mad at me. But if we get to 150 in those two places, I will. And also, if we get to 20,000 subscribers by March 1st, I will do a live watch along of The Matrix with you guys. A movie that I have never fucking seen. Never fucking seen. Which is wild within itself. Uh, any coronavirus meds in there? Rob K, no. Tylenol can't go without headache medication. Yeah, David, I'm surprised I don't have that in there either. I usually do. I have some in my backpack right now, so that might be why. We can go through my backpack a different show, by the way, guys. Uh, I would love to, to do that. Yeah, Jenny says Tylenol is a must in your purse. Totally get it. Uh, Manual thinks I'll like the Matrix. Maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I guess you, you never know until you try it, which I will try it if we get to 20,000 subscribers by March 1st, and I won't if we don't. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about Mulan. Mulan, Disney live action version of Mulan is coming out. We've already talked about the trailer. We liked the trailer. Um, I'm using the collective we because in general, I liked the trailer, and most of you guys, when we did that live stream, said you really liked the trailer. I'm sure there's one of you out there who didn't, but to me, it was just awesome. Um, when it was announced that there was, it was not going to be a musical, I was pretty surprised. I was pretty surprised, but kind of excited. And then it looked badass in the trailer, and I was like, that's cool. So now it's come out that Mulan is going to be rated PG-13, the MPAA rated Mulan, and it got a PG-13 rating. And I honestly was pretty surprised that Disney did this. Kind of excited for it, but pretty surprised. They, Disney is for kids, and also adults, but also kids. And they, uh, I don't know, I didn't think that they would want to make a PG-13 Mulan movie that children cannot go see or should not go see. Um, but I think this movie deserves that rating it deserves the rating that they want to give it in order to tell the story that they want to tell and it probably does have more mature parts especially with all the battle so and without the music and the kitschiness of that that is that what that word is like no more like cliche-ness i guess um then i think that this movie could be really interesting. And so everything that's come out about it, I get a little more and a little more intrigued. 
Pirates was PG-13. It did really well with kids, says Hasbro24. Good point. It's only PG-13. I don't see the issues with Xeno Hour. Totally. Uh, totally get it. And I kind of feel you. Rob K says, I'd rather have an R-rated Mulan. I don't know that that's necessary. But, yeah. David says, I heard that, Roxy. You heard what? About the R rating? Hmm. Uh, I have a feeling that Mulan is going to underperform due to the coronavirus cutting off China's box office, a thunder god. I don't think so. But we'll see. Can kids still see a PG-13 with their parents? Pig Me Warrior Entertainment. Yes, I believe so. I believe so. So I think probably this is a risk that they're taking that will end up working out in their favor. Although I'm not fully positive. Uh, I think that it will, if I had to guess, which I can't be certain. Going back to the super chat, Veronica Gonzalez. Thank you, Veronica, babe, for the super chat. Your what's in my purse is probably about 25 minutes longer than mine would have been. Smiley face. Keep doing you, Roxy. I throw so much shit in there, dude. I just throw, I pile so much fucking shit in there. And then I don't even know what's in there. So when I'm like, oh, fuck, I wish I had a lighter. I don't even look at my purse because I assume that there's not one in there. But then we just found out there was. So I just have to remember to put my other shit back in there before anything else uh, happens. Because otherwise I'll fuck it up. And then I'll forget to, that I don't have my credit cards or my license with me or anything like that. Ben Rayner in the super chat. Hi, Roxy. Love the stream yesterday. We're pulling for your 20K at the MSN Media Sweaty What Work, uh, What What Turk on Facebook. What's Woe Turk? Uh, did you like Flash last night? I haven't seen Flash last night yet. I did see Legends of Tomorrow. They did a Legends of Tomorrow episode, guys, that the premise was. Who's it like Marie Antoinette has poisonous perfume that makes people like her and then one of the I don't even want to give away what happens but it's like that show is so fucking good and it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen like what is fucking happening uh, but I have not seen Flash yet I did not see Batwoman this week either yet I did see Supergirl I liked that um yeah so those are those are the DC things that I'm caught up on but I'll let you know uh, I'll let you know when I do watch more stuff. Matthew Gold in the super chat. Will TTS be back on tonight? So great question for any of you, the Tomorrow Show fans. We are currently on hiatus for the Tomorrow Show. The Tomorrow Show will be coming back, but what we are using that time to do right now is our team, the Tomorrow Show team, is currently using that time to write a non-scripted, uh, sorry, to write a scripted series that we are working on. The first, um, the first scripted series that we are all working on together that I'm really fucking excited about. So Jeff Graham, Kevin Undergaro, myself are working on that with a slew of other people. And so we need that time right now for that. But TTS will be coming back after we have that more under wraps. Um, but that is the reason why TTS has been off for the last several weeks. Um, we should have made an announcement. I'm sorry that we didn't, but TTS will be coming back and I'll keep you guys posted here and on their Twitter and whatnot with the details on that. Um, Ben Rainer says, Ment Network, LOL, autocorrect. Got it. Thank you for that super chat. Clarifying. I, I appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, you meant the MSN Media Sweaty Network on Facebook. I was like, what's a lot work? Today, I what did I type that it autocorrected? Oh, my God. I said something so stupid today. It wasn't... I, I uh, voice said it and it wrote something that was like, wow, that's not what I meant to fucking send at all. But weird flex, but okay. Weird flex, but okay, phone. Oh, fucking K. Glenn Caesar in the Streamlabs, streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer. Roxy, this is for the Rena Roxy Project hint reveal. Also, Don Wooding wants to know if there's an episode of The Tomorrow Show this week. Glenn Caesar, thank you for that contribution. You rock. Um, if there's an episode of The Tomorrow Show this week, I just covered. So hopefully we are all on the same page now about that Rena Roxy project. And also Steph Sabra. So I will be talking about that. Um, let's get those super chats in, in streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer and also 150 thumbs up. We're at 142 right now. Let's keep those thumbs and those streamlabs going and I will show you guys in the last couple minutes of the stream a little hint. It's a little tiny hint. 
Just a little tiny hint of what we're doing. Little, 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 little. Uh, Garth McMurray says, soon autocorrect will change snack to snack with two C's. Yeah, I did a thing on Screen Junkies this morning where I was talking about snacks. Oh, uh, it's a whole... I am so not hip sometimes. I am so, so not hip. My sister makes fun of me because of my fucking lack of hip terminology, hip knowledge, hip words. All right, let's talk about The Bachelor. Now, I know, I know that when I say The Bachelor, that's when some of you guys tune out, but don't fucking tune out because I have a wild story to tell you guys. If you don't watch The Bachelor, I'm gonna explain to you what happened. If you do watch The Bachelor, you're as fucking confused as I am on what the fuck happened with Victoria. Both Victorias. What the fuck, Victoria? What the fuck, Victoria? So fucking weird, so fucking, Wandora says no! No, seriously, this shit is crazy. Uh, it's wild. Yo, tuning out for the Joseph Ashley. Stay with me, people. Just tuned in, you're gonna talk Bachelor. Listen, this show's fucked up because it's fucking with my emotions. You guys know this is the first season that I'm watching The Bachelor. It's the first season. And if you guys don't want me to talk about The Bachelor, streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer, let me know that you don't want me talking about The Bachelor and I'll stop talking about it for now. But seriously, this guy, the pilot, Pete the pilot, the fucking guy who died, the last bachelor, has four girls, four women left for hometown dates. Four people left. Three of them are obsessed in love with him, are vocal about being in love with him, are talking about being in love with him, can see their life moving forward with him. One of them doesn't know. Think she's in love with him, always running away, always like, ah, oh, you're, how could you do this to me? I, uh, she's just like legitimately so, like, I don't want to call her crazy because I don't know her and I know this show can edit people weird, but it's like this one girl is fucking bizarre. And he, so he's going on these hometown dates with all of, with all four of these women. So he goes back to their hometown and he meets the family and all this shit. So with three of the women, it goes swimmingly. Um, with uh, Hannah, whatever her fucking name is, Hannah Ann, it goes great. She's like this like really sweet hometown girl, 23 years old. She's just so sweet like that, even though like she kind of fucking annoys me, but it's fine. Then there's this other girl, um, the blonde girl, Victoria. Not the crazy, not the other Victoria, but that's her name, right? The, the blonde. No, no, no. It's not, it's not Victoria. What the fuck was her name? The blonde girl. What the hell's her name? Uh, I actually kind of liked her. Uh, what, what the fuck is her name? I can't think of it. But then there's Madison. Madison is like clearly supposed to be the winner, but she is a virgin and he doesn't know that yet. And she's very, very religious. And he's like saying he's religious, but I, I he's like, I, I like kind of am but also I want to be, but she's like super duper religious. And it's like, she's clearly the cool, like sweetest, coolest person on the show. But I don't know that he's supposed to be with her. Who was the name of the fucking blonde girl that he, spoiler alert, sends home this week? Whatever. So anyway, and then there's this one girl, Victoria, brown hair, and she's been up and down and up and down. So they, he goes home to each one of these girls' towns. And when he gets to this girl, Victoria's town, He's there and they're, they are at a concert. And then Victoria goes home and Pete the pilot is like leaving. And this one girl comes up to him and is like, Pete, Pete, Petey, or whatever. And she comes up, they blurred her face because she doesn't want to be on TV. And she's like, I just want you to know. Um, and you find out they had used to date. Like you're a good guy and you're making a really big mistake. Like you deserve better than her. She breaks up like a ton of relationships. Now, who the fuck knows if that's true or not? I have no fucking idea. But this is what this girl says to him. So, <laughs> the next, so that later that night, he goes to go meet Victoria's fucking family. And when he gets to Victoria's family, he fucking gets, goes to meet Victoria's family, gets to Victoria's family, and he fucking, like, outside the door, he's like, wait, Victoria, I need to talk to you. Like, 
I mean, this is what happened. He just lets her know. He doesn't say, did you do, he doesn't accuse her of anything. He says, this is what happened. I went and I talked to, um, when you left, this girl came and talked to me and she said that you break up a lot of relationships and that I didn't know what I was getting into. And Victoria's like, why, why, why would you do this to me right now? What's wrong with you? How could you accuse me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Peter? Are you serious? Why would you do this? And like flips the fuck out. And it's like, no, no, I can't, I can't. She like runs away during production, fucking runs away. And Pete's like, are you serious, dude? Then she comes back and he goes home. So he goes to her home fucking town and does not meet her family. He leaves and goes back to LA for the rose ceremony. So it's the only family, the only hometown he didn't actually fucking go on. Didn't meet her family. So then there's four people at the last ceremony and he has to pick one person to send home. So it's a no fucking brainer that he's going to send this girl home. She flipped, didn't meet her family, whatever it is. He keeps her. He keeps this girl. He sends home the blonde girl. Who was actually like kind of cool, even though she had that whole champagne gate issue. Like, why? What the fuck happened? It legitimately made no sense. I'm watching the screen and I'm like, what? Why the fuck did you do that? And it's like, did the... Did the producers tell you to do that? Because there's no way you would listen. There's no way you would listen to that. So either they like manipulated him to do it or, and he didn't even realize, or he actually like, is just one of those guys who wants to like sit, be with a crazy girl. Cause she like, this is fucking insane. The other woman like head over heels loved him. And this girl's like, ah, Peter, how could you? Like, what was he, he said to her, what was I supposed to do? Not ask you about it? Not tell you what happened? Like, I didn't accuse you of anything. What the fuck? And honestly, the way she handled the situation, and I don't know this to be fact, and I want to dig into it, but like, the way she handled the situation really seems like she was fucking breaking up a ton of relationships. And I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. Like, does that mean that she was, because uh, basically they're calling her a homewrecker, I suppose, but like, I don't fucking know if that's true, and I don't even know to what extent, but he, he's supposed to bring it up to her if somebody says that, that he knows. So fucking stupid. So fucking stupid. Um, anyway, guys, 110 people watching live right now. 150 thumbs up. Let's get more of those thumbs going. Might as well keep those thumbs going. And streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer uh, help financially support me there. I really appreciate you guys. Um, you guys are the fucking shit. And be, be grateful to everybody who said bless you for when I sneezed as well. Um, yeah, I've been sneezing a ton recently. So I don't really know what it is for. I feel like sending a huge bottle of sanitizer. I hate germs. Less than I I keep a bottle of sanitizer in my backpack and my car. Why? Did I sneeze weird? Is that why you said that? And I, I scrub down my table every fucking day. Uh, what a time to be alive, says Slen. I know. Ryan says, some guys love crazy. I know. I know. It's fucking true. Some guys do love crazy. And I guess he's one of them. I, I don't want to call her crazy because I don't know her. But like, wow, it really fucking feels that way. It really feels that way. Streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer. Uh, pass Carl Re Carl Rizian. Paz Carlisian, Carl, Cal, Calrissian, Paz Calrissian, thank you, Paz Calrissian, that took me way too long to get. Hey Roxy, the other day, someone commented on a video of mine saying she falls asleep watching my videos. That felt offensive. Then she followed up saying she found my voice soothing. Ever had any compliments like that, that you don't see coming at all, that you didn't see coming at all? Uh, Paz Calrissian, Yes, that happens to me. Um, but, like, people say offensive things to me all the time, but they're like, I mean that as a compliment. Like, it'll be like, you're really smart for a woman. And I'll be like, Ugh. and they'll be like, I mean that as a compliment. It's like, just because you mean it as a compliment doesn't mean I take it as a compliment or it actually fucking is a compliment. 
So I get like somebody saying they fall asleep to your videos because your voice is soothing. That is sweet ish, but also I get why you'd be offended by that. It's like not that nice. Ugh. Uh, Pascal Rizian, again in the Streamlabs. Thank you, streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer. P.S. I disagreed, but I'll take the comment. Speaking of which, you rocks. Thanks, Paz. I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, yeah, backhanded compliments are like, it's almost like better not to have a compliment. I guess. Um, going over my schedule for the week, guys, and we are getting out of here very soon, so don't forget to send in streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer or Super Chat here. Uh, thumbs up this video. Subscribe. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers by March 1st. And uh, I will say that we're doing well on the goal front for uh, this little tease, so you're going to want to stick around to the end of the video. Um, but what did I just say I was going to do? What did I just fucking say I was going to do? Oh, say where I am this week. So uh, after this, I'm going to be on Acting Class Weekly with Sean Whalen. We are off last week because I booked a gig and he was very ill. But we are back today. Um, that will be in an hour from now at 3 o'clock. And um, also, uh, I will be back here tomorrow Thursday streaming I don't know what time exactly but I'll tweet it out and patreon it you guys let me know if there are better times comment if there's better times for me to do Thursday and then Friday um, I will be doing screen junkies universe in the morning and then in the afternoon I've got DC movie news I think it's gonna be me and Adam Gertler this week I think he is back this week so that should be exciting um, yeah that's the stuff and Saturday, I'll be filming all day with Darina and Steph. Um, speaking of Darina and Steph, I know that uh, you guys have been asking what it is that we're working on. We've been telling you Darina, Ariano, Steph, Sabra, and I have been working on a thing together. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but because I gave the challenge of 150 thumbs up, and 150 in Streamlabs or Super Chats. Um, thank you to Paz Calrissian, Glenn Caesar, Brandy. Um, let's see the people in here. Matthew Gold, Ben Rayner, uh, Ben Rayner again, Veronica Gonzalez. Um, thank you guys for your support. Because of you, we did hit the goal, so I will be showing you guys something. Um, hopefully Steph and Darina are okay with it. It's uh, something that I, and it, you won't know what we're doing. It's just a small, small hint. Um, and as we're getting out of here, don't forget to support in all the ways that you can. I'll be right back. Hold on. I almost just tripped over my shoelace. Hold, please. Please hold. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is my, this is my little hint. Are you guys ready for it? Can you even see what they are? This is my little hint. This is a bigger than the bat suit reveal. LOL says Zeno Hour. Slen says green mustaches. It's a small little hint. Brandy says, what the fuck is that? Hmm. Why do they have green mustaches? I don't know. You got cast in the she in She Hulk says Galvin. That would be fucking epic. If all three Dorita stuff and I got cast. So you guys speculate away. Uh, say what you want. Do what you want. And I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, and yes, uh, thank you guys for joining live at the Roxy. Appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow. Shout out to Dip and Wipe and Streamlabs. Uh, com slash Roxy Stryer. Any upcoming screenings that you're going to? Yeah, definitely. I just don't know which ones yet. 
So tomorrow I'll let you know what upcoming screenings I am going to. Um, I'm trying to think of which ones are on my slate. A couple of them next week are contra are uh, at the same time on Tuesday, so I gotta figure out which one. But I'll keep you guys posted on on which on which I'm going to see. Um, and yeah, one of the best parts about Streamlabs, guys, is if you are watching this after the fact, you can still support me on streamlabscom slash Dryer, and I'll give you a shout out on tomorrow's show. Uh, Wow, you guys are more confused than ever in here. And I appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys do some thinking. Thank you for hitting the goal for today. And uh, let's keep working towards that 20,000 goal for March 1st for the Matrix Watch Along. Love you. Appreciate you. Rockstars forever. And uh, I will see you tomorrow.